Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last episode, I had started focusing on rebuilding our trade routes from Invesa to the Old World as we reignited the economy after the war with Arthur Gasparov. Now today, we continue those rebuilding efforts, now with plenty of new ships available and influence in the bag, we're free to specialize and optimize our islands for not only reaching where we were before, but for also now expanding to meet the new lifestyle needs of our residents. And there's no perfect island to start that on than Bird's Eye. Now this island's actually going through an interesting problem right now. It took me for a while, well, let me show you. Boom. There's problems all across the board. We're lacking workforce. Now I was kind of confused at first. I was like, wait, nothing's changed with this island since the war. I didn't build anything new. Nothing got destroyed, or if it did, it got repaired. So why would it go into the negative? Well, very simply putting it, they ran out of oil. And once the tractor barns run out of oil, I forgot that you actually get a little bit of a discount on your workforce when a tractor barn is active to the farmers. Now there's so many farms that it actually ends up, you know, what's the word, taking effect, piling up, you start to notice the effect I should say. Ooh, we're losing money pretty badly. We'll have to get back to that at some other point. But anyway, it's just an interesting thing because normally the, the amount you get back from the farms is such a small amount of workforce I don't even notice it, but obviously with so many farms you start to feel it. So. That's hopefully going to get fixed now. In fact, what we want to do for that is start building a new oil tanker. And while we're here, we'll make some fresh construction ships. I meant to do that between episodes, but not a big deal. So, what I'd like to do is obviously deliver oil to this island from Tabarim. In fact, Tabarim has a ship with oil on it right now. So we'll just bring this down, do a little manual trade. Uh, but in future, I want an oil tanker dedicated to the Embasa region. So, oil from the New World will come into Tabarim. We'll make sure it's as, you know, big as we can make it. Maybe add on some actual uh, oil storage. And then if we ever add other agricultural tractor barns or whatever to any other place, we can deliver oil around, hopefully, quite easily with a dedicated ship in this session that's doing a route for everybody. So that's the plan anyway. So we'll just wait for this oil tanker to get here. We'll make the manual trade. While I'm waiting, another thing I want to do is actually look at the lifestyle needs and start to try to satiate all the demands for these guys. So one of the things is one's a timber. Now, once the timber is pretty easy to get, I think we need, let's see, construction material, two tons per minute on this island, easy peasy. This is every 15 seconds. So what's that? That's four tons per minute. So easy. Let's just slam one down somewhere over here, wait for it to get made. And that should satiate the demand for all those guys. Now, it's only a small amount you get, you know, you get one extra person per household, but it's, yeah, it's... It's basically, I mean, it pays for itself. It costs 10 people to work it. We've got more than 10 households. Totally fine. Um, so yeah, should be good. Actually, sorry, that's not the case. How many people work it? 15. Still, it's still fine. <laughs> just barely, but it's still fine. So I also noticed, and you might have noticed just now, that they actually require hot sauce. So that's something I want to get working on today. I've got a laundry list of lots of stuff to do. And one of the things is get to the new world, start setting up a hot sauce production chain, and then distributing it to anybody that needs it. It's kind of interesting because these are the guys that make the spices that go to the new world to get made into hot sauce that can then come back. Now, if I'm not mistaken, over at Manola, or in the new world generally, a hacienda farm can make hot sauce. Or spices, rather. They can. So, that's interesting. You don't actually need to do that double back and forth. But I think we are at the moment. But maybe I could try to optimize and cut that down, too. So, there's our oil tanker. We'll just transfer the oil, let them get back on their route. And this will just keep the guys going for a little while. Hopefully those trains will start rolling out. So let me have a look at my notes. Next thing. Uh, well, there's two things, actually. Let's go to the Arctic. Change the scenery for a little bit. We left off the previous episode here, noticing that our explorer workforce and our technicians are suffering badly. And that's because there's not enough brass. We're trying to make oil lamps uh, here, I think. Yeah. But there's no brass coming here. So I was having a look at the trade routes. Brass. Arctic. We had one called the Arctic Exchange. And what this was basically doing was two airships were coming in from the old world and flying around the glaciers to pick up the excess copper, zinc, gold, and even some gas and bring it back to Lusk, ultimately. Um, so let me just deal with the newspaper. Snap shortage. Oh my god. We'll fix it all. Everything will be fixed. So, having a look at that trade route, we don't need that anymore, but we can kind of just modify I'm it. So we'll put, to introduce our new we'll put another airship on. This one has eight slots. Get rid of the old two. They're gone. And 
So it's coffee, canned food, schnapps, and brass. So let's do this. We'll just double it up and have the one ship doing this now. So I'm looking for coffee. Coffee, canned food. So that's going to be on twice. Schnapps, twice. And then brass, which is a uh, intermediate. So that's coming from Lusk. That's our hub island in the old world. And effectively, we just want to dump it all into King William Island because that's our hub for the Arctic. And then ideally... Hmm. Do we want to bring that on an airship up to the... No. The airship can then go and pick up. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. That's why they were told to discard. Hmm. I see. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. I'll take this away. I was going to say you can go to the islands and actually pick up the rest of the stuff, but I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'll just get rid of these other ones. And we'll have a dedicated airship that collects the excess raw materials from here and just brings it back to Lusk as well. So two, two, art, two ships are going to be going to Lusk. So we'll turn off the discarding cargo. It's too wasteful for stuff like coffee, canned food, etc. So there we go. Simplifying the route massively. Arctic exchange. We pick up all the stuff from the old world and we get that. And that's, uh, I'll call it Arctic imports because we'll probably have an exports line as well. All right, so that'll sort that situation out. That ship, I don't know if it's actually where it actually is. Oh, it's here already, so that's nice. Cool. There it is, so that'll get the job done. Let's brighten it up. So I'm just trying to think now, we have, for instance, the Red Baron not doing anything. So this ship could be the collection ship. So trade routes will go with Hopefell and Steindelsbreen. And they don't need to go to... Oh, King William Island has the gold. Yeah, and then they can head back to Lusk. Old world, Lusk. All right, so Hopefell. Raw materials. These are byproducts. So we'll pick up zinc, pick up copper, and then we'll pick up the gold, which we can't actually do here, but that's fine. I'll just add it anyway. Don't need to unload. Again, just pick up the same things. And then unload it here. Just got to double... Ch oh, sorry, not unload it there. You want to pick up your gold and stuff here as well. Yeah, it's maxed out. We make more gold than we make on the other things. I think barely. So let's go the Red Baron. There it is. And we'll call this one an Arctic to the Old World. It's going to Lusk to drop off its stuff. And we'll just call this Arctic Exports Raw Mats. Raw Mats. Oh, it's fine. It's like the raw materials because there is other arctic exports which are like the feathers the bear skin whatever that kind of stuff and that'll be for something else so here's one called exports brass so we've got two ships delivering brass from the crown farms into lusk that's fine we'll let them keep doing that for now one one session at a time so that should be that problem solved so that's a good one to get out of the way um so i'm hoping with that done when the brass comes in here we should see oil lamps reach everybody that's three extra technicians per household Coming and for here, the explorers it's three extra per household as well what's their lifestyle needs by the way they want bread tallow and hot sauce interesting so there we go that's an incentive to make that hot sauce Hi. keep it nice and toasty um okay so what's up next ah <laughs> this one's a fun one People had mentioned that the epidemic left you could, in theory, abandoned. drop care packages on Benti. And we do have care packages made. I actually made a bunch of them for a very long time. So if we go construction material, care packages, and we'll do a drop run over her lands because she's getting, she has those riots going on all the time. Now they're actually, looks like they've stopped. But we'll just try to help her out. <laughs> Keep trying to help Benti. So we'll start like here. And we'll cut straight across her territory like that. And then we could loop around and come again. All right, let's see what she's offering. She's still buying 50 cotton, so let's sell that. And then it's the other stuff as well. So let's get that rolling as well. But yeah, people noticed in the comments, they were like, maybe she can't make sales because she doesn't have cotton on her island, which is why she's demanding it. Um, now she has no more requests. So I think she's actually out of money because she had a few requests and they all just kind of went away. Oh, they're back. They're back. 50 schnapps. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just transfer this over to my other airship and free this one up to do other things. We'll just leave this one here, delivering as much cotton as we can to her as frequently as she wants it. Sky's clear. Sky's clear. All right, so you can get out of here. That airship can just stay stationed here. 
I'm waiting to see this come to life, but it's just not happening yet. Interesting. Did she move her oil spills? Because they're all in a perfect line. Interesting. Don't know if she did. It's just coincidence if not. Alright, we're coming in for the drop run. Come on, Benty. If there was one we could do to give her productivity or something, that'd be nice. <laughs> You're too kind. Oh, she loves it. You're welcome. Let's do another run. We'll just drop another fat load on the other side. Uh, from the other direction, I should say. Let's go set drop target. We'll start about here. Let's do that. And you can just stop, I don't know, wherever. Speed this one up. I'll drop another load then over on this side, and that should be it. What is going on, dude? It's taking so long. It's obviously... No, it's not going against the wind. Not really. You're too kind. Oh, no problem. No problem. Here you go. One last one. Over there. And we'll do this again later. Just keep her happy. Keep the people happy. You've got everything you need. You've got everything you need. You have cotton. I'd love to check. I'm not going to spend the time checking, but I should in between episodes to see. Does she have like a sail makers, you know? Oh, close ponchos. <laughs> Is this it? Felt production ponchos? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, she says she's building an airship hangar. Oh, that's good. It's not moving at the moment, but that's still progress. That wasn't there before, I don't think, or at least not that long ago. Good. All right. We'll leave it at that. So that's care packages for Benti. So the next one then is Cape Trelawney. We used to have an island here dedicated to entirely fur. It was Drumcondra. Now we've actually got two other islands that also have fur um, and the free workforce. So I'm going to set up a fur route on all three if I can. Because globally, I think we're in a really tight spot for fur. We need a lot of it, and it takes up a lot of space. I guess ideally, we could actually look for um, items that would like make it a little easier. Yeah. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. So we're pro oh uh, apparently globally we're producing enough. I don't know how that's the case because apparently it's telling me we're out. Oh, I know why. So if I head back to Lusk and I turn on the workforce Time for all this. What it is I'll need to do. So that's all the fur buildings back on. And I think that is it. I don't think I've got fur going anywhere else. And these are gu these guys are making the fur coats. So, let's see what our total demand now is. So that's going to be 40. We produce 40 apparently, but some of it's offline. Let's track it where it is. King William Island. Ah, so we're not exporting it. All right, well, seeing as we were just dealing with the Arctic, let's get back in here and deal with some exports coming out of here. So, Having a look at just this island, what we export, what we know that we're probably going to need, I think, bear fur, goose feathers, seal skin. Don't think we need huskies. I do feel like we need the meats and things. So to keep things relatively simple, let's start a route, a trade route, from King William Island to the Old World. We'll deliver it to Lusk specifically and load up. Maybe let's just start simple with loading up the fur. Now, if I was to check... Just before I continue on that route, how much fur do we make here? 17 tons per minute. Holy crap. All right, so you're going to need more than just two slots. Let's start. Let's try three. Now, if I was to break out the old calculator there and see what is 150 divided by 17. So that gives us nine minutes. Don't think that's enough to make a round trip, especially with the fat airship. So we'll do another four. So let's try now 200 divided by 17 per minute. That gives us about almost 12 minutes. That might be maybe enough. And then the other four slots we could reserve for the specialty goods that are going to um, swords for all the different things like uh, restaurants and stuff. So we'll try that. It's a little, maybe, maybe that doesn't need to be that way. I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually doubting this so much I'm going to cancel it right away. But we'll put a reefer on it. I think that'll be better. So a reefer can just do this itself and fully load it. I think that would make more sense. How many slots does a reefer have? Oh, okay. Six. All right, there we go. So that's going to be on the Arctic to Old World route. Pretty straightforward. The skipjack will handle it. So now we're taking out fur out of this place. Excellent. All right, good. Solving problems one moment at a time. So I'm, I'm eagerly awaiting the arrival of those oil lamps. Uh, sorry, brass. It's got everything it needs. It's on its way. The Fangtooth 2. I need to give these better names. 
don't see... Oh, is that it there? It looks like it's actually just arriving now. Yes. Or it could be this one. No, 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 it is that one. Excellent, it's just coming in now, actually. Just waiting. So, let's get the... Let's go back to Mbesa. So we have the oil situation here. So we need to make a new oil route from Tabarim, just to here. It's the only two places dealing with oil. And just add the new oil tanker that we just made on it. So, oil supply. And we'll just keep this in Mbesa. And that's it. That's all that one's ever going to do. And eventually, if we add more islands, no problem. All right, our fat ship is coming in now. That brass should largely solve a lot of the workforce issues. And just to help things along. I'm not because sure it's like a... It's to be. What's the word? It's kind of like a rolling start. It's best to get these just totally full to workforce, or as many workers on them as possible. So I've just paused all of these ones. That way, when the brass comes in, they'll start supplying, supplying the oil. And uh, this should kind of operate more at 100% and get the ball rolling just a bit quicker. Hopefully. And this is a great optimization over what I was doing before, because I don't know if people remember, but I was tossing loads of stuff overboard here all the time. And now we're just not going to be doing that. So hopefully things go a lot smoother. Look at that. Fully delivered. They're going to be very happy, I think. And there we go. Brass is in. They're making their first batch of the oil lamps. And hopefully... I'm surprised that the glaciers weren't having, like, massive issues with that. Because they seem to be... Still have it. They still have a bunch in storage from before. Good for them. 175. They obviously have a, no pun intended, slow burn. But um, yeah, it seems to be totally fine. All right. So the next thing that we should turn back on is the pemmican, I think. So it's going to hurt the workforce again, but it's already flying up. So it shouldn't be too long before this kind of gets back to where it was. And we can turn on some of the later game goods. So I just want to mark some of this stuff off my list. So that is the Brass to Arctic done. Uh, bird's eyes lacking population. They have their oil, so that should fix it. Fur in Cape Trelawney. Haven't done that yet, but it also seems like I don't need to, which is kind of confusing me. So I'll put a question mark for that next right now. Care packages for Benti. What do you want? Effects explorer shelters and technicians. Pemmican reduction of consumption 30%. A diving bell quest. Yeah, let's do it. Go then. I've got staff to Tef grass to the. No uh, oh yeah, so Tef grass is going to be the next thing. All right, before I'm we do that though, let's resume this building. Colleague. And there we go. Now, with all the buildings back on, we're at negative five workers and plus twenty for technicians. So pretty good. I think one of these buildings was actually off initially. So let me just check how everything's looking in terms of the new world. Or sorry, the Arctic. So. Fur is being produced, 23. We're consuming whale oil, 12 over 11. So we're consuming a little bit too much. The same with caribou. So I do think that one of these was offline. Because I vaguely remember that. <laughs> All right, so now it's 11 to 11. So that seems right. And we're just, just slightly edging over on the caribou. We're short for seal skin and we have extra goose feathers. We're short for bear fur. Sealskin and bear fur we buy off the Inuit, and the same with huskies. So I think that actually rounds us out and fixes everything up. But of course, I'd like to build on this island in the future and get some more of the economy rolling that way. Now, let's just brighten it up again. When these guys get their hot sauce, they won't know what to do with themselves. They're going to be laughing. What else do they need? Mezcal? Rum? Motors? Oh my god. The technicians need some complex stuff. And dynamite. Dynamite and motors. So two of these is New World. Three of these is New World. So a New World supply to the Arctic could do rum, mezcal, and motors. So if I just turn these on, on this island, let's turn them on on all our islands, just so I can test the overall consumption needs for this if I was to try and hit those goals. They'll need an, an airship to do it as well. All right, so that's turned on now for all the islands that actually have technicians. So if I was to go, I suppose, all islands and then type motor. Okay, it's not too bad. We need one more. What about Mezcal, the drink? Uh, seems like we have more of that than we need, so that's good. So Mezcal can be done. I'm just going to write that one down so we can actually get that rolling pretty quickly. Mezcal. And I've unfortunately forgotten what the other thing was. It was... 
Uh, rum. Uh, rum should be doable, I think. Rum should be doable. Actually, it's all islands. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think we can do it. Okay, so let's set up a drinks route that comes to the, uh, the Arctic. Why the hell not? From the New World. So we've got a ship here, not doing anything, helping Benty out. And another one here, not doing anything, helping Benty out. We know that we're eventually going to put motors on this, and motors are made here in the New World. So what we could do, I'm assuming the motor demands are pretty low. So I'm just going to check one last time in the statistics screen here, motors. And we'll just check all the islands up here. It's only two tons per minute, so it's really not that much. I guess to be thorough and compare, what is what is the mezcal amount here? It's also two. And then the rum amount, it's four. So we need a little bit more for the rum than we do for the other things. Okay, let's, let's figure it out. So we have Manola, which is now our new hub here in the New World. So New World, Trade Route, Manola to the Arctic, and we'll drop it... I think you can hit all these islands and get out at the same time. So these are the ones that actually have it, so... I suppose if you're going to be coming in from that side... We'll reorder these, so... Hopefell goes first, then Steindelspreen, and then you can go kind of back out... wherever is quickest. Okay? So let's do that with the... Deception 2, whatever. Another eight slots. The other way we could do it is just deliver it to the hub island and then get an airship delivered around, but I'm happy to do it with this one big ship. I think it's okay. It's tempting though, to kind of divide things up sometimes. So anyways, at Manola, we want to pick up the... There's actually no rum on Manola, but we'll have to pick it up there. One, two, three, four slots. And then the others need two slots each. So Mezcal is next. Which is also empty. And then motors, which I'm assuming is going to be empty as well. Oh, no. Shows what I know about my own playthrough. All right, and just unload them to everywhere. And eventually they'll all get it. All right, so this is going to be... Um, so let's see. It's really the New World lifestyle. How a renowned personage has arrived. Yeah, so in New World Lifestyle Imports. And we'll just put it in the Arctic to New World route, which they're actually, this is going to be the first one. There's no Arctic to New World. So we'll go New World to Arctic, because that's the way it's going to be going. So, new group. Save. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. All right, here we go. So, new world. New world to Arctic and done. So that's that. So give it a bit of time. They'll all get their extras. What can right. you say? I'm the giving type. We can make more of these big fat cats. I love them. Let's do it. What's this one? The smallest of the cargo airships. This craft prioritizes speed over hold space. It's only got three slots. Open sea travel speed is 100%. Oh my god, uh, open sea travel speed is 170% for this. I've never noticed that stat before. Oh wow, so it's 100% by default. Nice. And 170. So I'm actually doing a good job. These are the things carrying stuff between sessions in a lot of places. That's pretty good. Okay, that's good to know. They're almost like your airborne world-class reefers then uh, so two other things to do now teff grass in the new world needs to be delivered and then we need to set up hot sauce I think let's see if we just have a little run around now so we've obviously satiated the demands of these guys I think I will invite them to the dance so they're totally fine they need ponchos and stuff oh my god it's such a, it's gonna be such a crazy interconnected web of things coming from all the different sessions it's real the lifestyle system is really crazy all right Population should explode if we do it if we do it right. Just trying to think. Anything else then? This island's okay. Full output of lanterns. That was a problem for another day. Yep, all looking good. Fur doesn't need to be set up in K2. 
Cape Trelawney, apparently, so that seems okay. And we're bringing back Fur from... If only there were more of me. So there's an insufficient workforce, 500 lacking. So workers are largely on this I'll island. Sausages and soap, happy. oh my god. There's no workers on this island, so it's all basically here and other islands such as Skerries and Malahide that are going to be suffering these problems. Alright, so we'll start from the bottom up then. Old world, consumer goods, sausages is at 4 production, consumption 12. So let me check on Docklands to see if we're bringing it in there. I can't remember what I get from Docklands anymore. So, not seeing any sausages. Let's go straight to Lusk if we can. Why can't I see? Okay. Yeah, not seeing any sausages there either. Uh, okay, let me just check trade routes just to see are they supposed to be delivered somewhere. Sausages. Nope. Hmm, there's 2,000 on swords. Uh, soap is okay, it's just the ship isn't here. That's fine. And beer as well. So just to keep this running, I could just put a ship back on this. Just a regular... Is that Cape Trillant? No, that's the old world. Yeah, just a regular cargo ship, just to get the ball rolling again with that. And then Lusk, for some reason, should have sausages, but it doesn't. So let's find out why. So the slaughterhouses, when I remember this, they used to be here. But apparently not anymore. So let's check. Sausages. Zero on the island. There are pigs though. So... What's going on there then? Improved by electricity. And it's not in the Docklands. So something's up. There must have been at one point in time I must have had sausages here. It must have been the case. Like in Docklands I mean. Not just on the island. 300 coming in at swords. In exchange for seafood stew. Which should be getting delivered again. Let's just cancel that out. Let's just make our own sausages. Do it live. Negative 50 workers. Improved by electricity. We have pigs. Now, the pigs on this island, do they go into anything else? No, they're not consumed by anything. And we make 8 tons per minute. So they're 1 to 1. They're not powered by electricity, but they are improved by their silo. So let's just see... If I have a look at where the power station is, there's one there. This is a concrete factory. I mean, this is a giant building site, so we could just put it in here. So maybe I'll collapse this in a bit. Undo all my hard work. I'm just trying to think, is there anywhere else? We could just stack them there, but it's a bit weird. Alright, let's just undo this then. Get rid of this area. just bring this down and for now I'll just pave it I just realized there's not even enough space for sausages is it yeah. not if we want to turn them this way which I do uh, so we need just what was it one more tile just one more tile of space that's fine just get rid of this again Okay, so we've made some room now. Nice and neat. Let's try three and see how does that hit us. It consumes six tons per minute. I like the that consumes seven. So that seems like a pretty good number. Now obviously that's 200 workers, but whoops. But I'm okay with that. Alright, there we go. They should just deliver into these things. Uh, maybe in the future we can get rid of it, but uh, yeah, let's just stop some of these buildings for it temporarily, just to save a little bit on the workforce. These are consuming workers as well, so let's just turn a couple of those off, just again, temporarily. Let the cause and effect get rolling, and uh, when that ship comes to pick up its stuff, so where is it now? Yeah, it's going to have to do a full round trip before it gets the sausages made. And they're waiting on the pig delivery. It comes out of the... It's a shame that we're not a little closer, actually, on this side. 
what does this do? Oh my god. It actually does affect us as well. So this is going to be the fur dealer. It affects all cloth industries. It affects all buildings. Oh, so that's nice. So Fer Ferris Al Sarami is actually affecting us up here. Uh, only slightly. Let's get rid of one of those. Let's stick this one down here. And that way they're all being affected. So what are we at now? Now we're consuming a little bit too much. Let's get rid of one of them. And that's 8 to 7 again. So that saves a little bit on the workforce. Alright, good. Happy with that. We can uh, dress it up a little bit later. That allows them to be both affected. Alright, cool. So, it's going to take a little while to notice that effect, but the sausages should, should start to make their way around now. Um, and if we have a look at cons consumption rates of sausages for everything here, we're at n just shy of what we really need, though. Damn. A little awkward to get more pig farms. We could try one of the other islands, though. So, there's two pig farms, four pig farms here, and three sausages. So let's see. Agriculture, pig farm. Yeah, we could maybe squeeze one more out of it. Maybe. Obviously cost workers, but we're sharing workforce, so it should be okay. Where is this, by the way? Oh, they're over here. Hmm, tucked in quite nicely, I must say. <laughs> Did a good job of it. But I reckon we just have to expand. That's just the way it has to go. So let's move these. So there's tallow and stuff being done there. I can see what I was going for. A little shared industry. And what is this? Pigs be made into tallow. There's soap. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's not the worst thing in the world to just extend this out as well. See how that fares. So that keeps us even still for the pigs, so that's totally fine, and it adds another thing for sausages, so if we check the entire old world, we are now producing just slightly more than we need. One of them is completely offline, it's the one in Malahide, and is that because sausages are full here, which is a good problem to have. So we're picking them up at Lusk, we're picking them up at Swords, because that's where they would have had their Docklands, and then we're dropping them at rush so really what we need to do that was just self-sustaining we need to also pick them up i guess here and here but really it seems like you need a full dedicated sausage route for this to be honest yeah rush is the one that needs them badly as well So Scaries is this island here, and then this one is where we're making them again. So you want to pick those up there. So drop off, pick up, that's fine by me. Yeah, I don't think this, this doesn't make sense having just one ship on this route. This isn't going to work. Um, so that ship has actually got nothing on it, and it's coming back right now. So let's just modify the route. We'll take away this stuff. We'll switch out what's going in the middle. We'll add beer, so you can continue with your beer just the way you were. And, sauce and soap. So where are you delivering this to? Swords primarily. And also Rush. That's okay by me. So cut these two off. And just hit accept. So let's make a new one now. That's just going to be dedicated to doing a sausage delivery. Kind of like that. So load a good sausage. And then unload. And you're going to load these ones as well. Sausage supply. And that's going to be for the old world. What's your problem? Ah, don't worry about that. Alright, cool. There we go. Old world sausage supply. Let's see if that works out. Uh, one last thing with it, actually. If you're unloading there. Yeah, I reckon just pick up here as well, and I'll set limits and things like that, so that way 
it kind of stays on the route more evenly. St. Arthurburg? I don't think so. <laughs> and scaries. Good. So there we go. Just loading and unloading, whatever. I know they can add to time and everything, but it's not a big deal. We'll just set the uh, reserve limit then on swords. Which we have to do over here. Alright, sausages, your reserve is going to be minimum stock, 1500. Okay. Rush, minimum stock. Uh, how many can you, what can you have here? Let's say 400. To introduce our new colleague. So pretty high up. This island doesn't need anything. This one, it has some workers, but I don't even know. Yeah, they do consume sausages. Okay, fair enough. Do they have their own pig farm here? They actually do. They have their own thing. Are you meeting your own demand here? You totally are for sausages, and are you able to meet that with the pigs you have? Yes. So you know what? Scaries can come off that list. So now we're just going to four islands, totally fine. So Rush and then Malahide. Is Malahide's our other city doing it? Minimum stock, 400 as well. Alright, cool. Let's um, check the Arctic, see if our brass... So our brass is delivered, but we should see if the other stuff is delivered as well. So the economy is totally fine. We're all better now. Up here, look at this. We've got plus 300. And that's because of the lifestyle. So we're delivering mo uh, motors. We haven't yet got the rum. So motors is giving us five extra technicians, and it's even giving us heat, which is pretty good. We haven't delivered the dynamite yet either. That's another thing I could do, actually. Um, God, I'm just going to be forever buried in these roots. But Arctic to the Old World. Arctic imports. Yeah, it would have been nice to add dynamite onto this. Because we could totally do it. But it's fine. I guess we'll just have to make a different ship that does it later on. Because there's going to be other things as well. Anyways, let's go to the New World. And let's see if we can fix the rum and mezcal situation. So we know that rum and mezcal has run out, basically, up here. For some reason. Now, mezcal... Let's start with rum first, because it's an earlier tier. So, rum, I believe, was getting made on this island. No more space here. That's coffee. And that's we coffee. And it's maxed out. These are all maxed out. Holy crap. There's probably just a bunch of roots that I still haven't, like, re-upped yet. Is rum not made here anymore? I, I thought it was. I'm still seeing sugarcane. Uh, apparently it is. So, it's been made somewhere. Oh, we get it as a byproduct in a couple of places. Okay. Uh, if we were to check the new world then, where is all the rum made? So it's only made on this island by as a byproduct. The rest of it must come from Cape Trelawney. Interesting. Now, these guys actually have a demand for rum. It's their happiness need. And they've got it. Obviously, they're fine. Lifestyle? Yeah. Oh, mail is a problem as well. We could become a landmark. Huh. So, that's an interesting problem because... The rum supply in the Arctic that we just set up. Actually, yeah, we can still keep it on this island. That's fine. Okay. So what we need to do is send a small ship. Create new route, trade routes. Old world, uh, sorry, new worlds. Wherever the flip it is. Where the hell is it? We're here. Uh, so from here, which has a lot of rum, to here. Uh, I actually need to, sorry about this, I just need to check also what else is doing rum. So we have the multi, the rum supply. Is this in the old world? This is just in the old world and there's two ships doing it. That seems excessive. That's very weird. And they're right next to each other anyway. What's the situation? You've actually got none in swords. So I say it seems excessive, but I guess they're not actually delivering it correctly. Let's do what we just did as well before, which is pick it up where we can. They actually have limits. Malahide doesn't. Yeah, interesting. Because rum is coming multi-regional from Cape Trelawney, and there's just one ship doing it with eight slots. Okay, time to check globally then. What's the problem? Are we not making enough? We're apparently making 129. 
and we're consuming 57, so there should be plenty. So why... What's happening? <laughs> so if I check all islands, and we go to rum again, and we can see where we're making it. So a brewery, 11 of them on Crown Farms. Schnapps Distillery on Crown Farms. Crown Farms. So Crown Farms is obviously making the bulk of them. Okay, well that sounds good to me. Are you selling it in Docklands maybe? That could be what's happening. Yes, sir. We're selling it in exchange for things like brass and ore. Well, there's your problem. We're giving too much of it away, probably. Because it's in f many different things. And that's where we get our brass. And our brass has just been set up in the Arctic. I'm smiling from ear to ear right now because it's just a funny problem to have. Okay, so... We'll cancel it all. We're wiping the sleep clean. We gotta do something fresh. So that should be plenty of rum that can come back. Now I think in the old world, a rum route that's delivering the, what, four islands? Does that really need two ships? I mean, it probably does because the consumption is gonna be very big, I suppose, at swords. So fair enough with that. So pick it all up. Keep going, keep going and pick it up where you can. And we'll just set a reserve limit again on the old world. Just in case they don't have one. Well, they do have one. They have a reserve. Okay, good. That's all that mattered. Um, they need a reserve in Rush as well because they didn't actually... Or sorry, Malahide. They didn't set one. But they're full right now anyway. Okay, cool. So... <laughs> The root of this problem was that the Arctic is getting rum, but it's not actually getting it. Because in the New World, rum has been made on this island, but it's not going anywhere. And instead, I'm trying to pick it up from Manola. So we need to say that in the New World... Let's see if we just isolate to the New World. Do we have enough rum even just here? We do. And do we have enough if we were to include the Arctic? I think we do, because I think it said four. in one of your factories. Ah, oh, we're just slightly low. Just slightly up. low. Hmm. An explosion in one of your factories. Oh, stop with the explosions. So. These are making rum as a byproduct. And it's actually not getting made at all now because these are all stalled as well. Oh, Jesus. This is such a, such a chaotic problem to have. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to work out what's the best... What, what should we do? I'll tell you what. Let's go... Let's get that Arctic route open again. Arctic to New World... This is trying to do rum, but it can't. So yeah. brave and so many lives. All right, I got it. I know what I'll do. Fire has been I'll leave that taking from Manola because it's just better that way. Get rid of the gas thing. That's fine. So what we do, let's go rum. So the multi-regional ship that's doing rum, it's going to Crown Farms to pick up a lot and then it's dropping it at Lusk and that's all it's doing. But it's now going to also go to the New World and uh, pick rum up from this island and drop it to Manola. Would that be weird? That'd be weird. Although it needs to transfer it. It needs to bring over some. That's the problem. So it's waiting to unload right now and waiting to pick up full thing. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> it's gonna all so it's dropping all of its stuff at Lusk, and then it's also gonna drop it at Manola. Alright, so that makes sense. So anything that still has on it, it'll drop at Manola. Then it leaves. It goes back to Cape Trelawney, <laughs> if it can. Which I guess it has to go all the way out the far side. But that's okay, it's a Yeah, that's okay with this type of ship. So it's always gonna wait to load up fully, drop everything at Lusk. And then drop it at Manola. Now we're going to have a separate ship, a small one, just here in the New World. And it's going to basically pick up rum. Well, we can actually just... It's a round trip route. So again, only the places that actually have population on them right now need it, which is going to be these four. So at Marbella, you'll load up on your rum. I'll we'll just assign a little ship to this. Are you in the New World? Let's just check. 
I feel like this whole game I've been staring at this thing. I hope people don't mind too much. But I mean, I have to do it. <laughs> There's been very little building. But the next couple episodes I'll be building quite a bit. I need to set up teff grass and hot sauce. Probably should have done that today just to vary it up a bit. Um, but anyway, this is our local rum distribution in the New World. Rum supply. And that's going to stay in the New World. So effectively, we've got a ship coming from Cape Trelawney with the bulk of it, going into Lusk, and then also dropping it to Manola. I'm going to put a second ship on that, but we need another Great Eastern. That's what it is doing it. So I'd like to keep them the same. Um, all right. So then, yeah, you pick it up at Marbella, you drop it at Manola, but we're going to do this thing where we pick it up and drop it until they're all satisfied and just set reserves on everything. So you're just always going to be full of whatever you're doing. I hope that works. You can correct me if you think it's wrong in the comments below. All right, so rum, set a minimum. And that's the minimum that's inc included with going to the Arctic as well. So let's always have to be bear that in mind. But we're obviously making more than enough. Now something that we're probably not making enough of is like brass, now that I've cut that off, and then all the ore. But we could just, you know, come across that problem when we get to it. When we see it running out, then we'll fix it. Uh, the brass one I might try to fix quicker, but the the ore one might, might leave. Okay, so these guys have never allowed I've never allowed them to have rum. It's not special here, but but they can have it now. A lot of people used to complain about that. They were like, oh, they make the rum, they can't even have it. It's like, yeah, well, <laughs> that's the way it is. Someone pays a lot of money for it, and someone doesn't. Let's just put it that way. So. Uh, okay, right, so that should be that sorted. So, uh, yeah, let's just, while I'm waiting, let's check. Steaming Globally. Full of oh, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, Nate. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, so brass, we're, you know, we're not, we're not really bringing in enough. We're just about 30 short. We're there around. So maybe we need a new furnace island. <laughs> Look busy, people. I do feel like it would probably be easier just to import it through Docklands. I don't mind using Docklands, but it's good to identify what we can exchange in order, you know, for what. But I'm just going to go all islands. We'll have a look at brass. See, where are we making it right now? We're making it on Crown Farms. Uh-huh. And they're using the zinc and the copper that's here in order to farm it out. And we've got tons of workers. So there's absolutely no reason we can't just spam these. And get the, get these numbers up. These are rookie numbers, and I will definitely build a trade union for this in the future. I'm gonna write it down and then look for items that can improve it. But for now, we'll just leave it like this. All right, so that's just super temporary. But we have the workforce for it. We have the ore by far on this island. Well, now we don't. But with Docklands, we should, <laughs> eventually. A lot of it actually gets taken away from here. But we'll leave it as is. I just want to see if we'll feel this out. I'll look between episodes to get this correct, because obviously I'm just thinking on the fly now. It's very messy. Their power has died. Why is that? Oil in Crown Farms. Cape to the New World, oil to the Cape. And you're coming from Porta Benus. Yeah, that's going to be a mistake. Okay. There are a couple of things to write down and fix then as well. So, oil, brass, and ore. These are problems really isolated to Crown Farm. So, we might stick around here and start building up. Because we've got good workforce to work with. We could definitely do a few things. Yeah, but seeing as they've got a lot in storage right now, that's pretty good. And then there's a lot of brass here. So... Brass from Cape to... So there's already been exported, so that's fine. So it should keep running for quite a long time before we have the... We run out of that issue, or we hit that issue. But yeah, I'm really happy with the technician workforce that we ended up getting here. The interesting thing is, if we could keep that supply up, we could actually remove a lot of these technicians and then set up on another island to get the gas. With the same amount of goods that we have, which would be obviously ideal. So that's obviously what I'd like to do, because we need to improve our gas distribution. It's not good enough right now. It's pretty good, but not good enough. 
Um, yeah, and you're obviously still short for technicians. In fact, I never gave you the upgrades. That's enough now. Seven. Yeah, so we've got enough now that they'll start consuming. I'll just let time play. And then we can just remove those houses. But also, have I not given them the lifestyle? Yeah, they should get their motor as soon as well then, by the time it gets here. It's filling up the other island first, I guess. Never sorted out that mez call. God damn, there's so much to do. <laughs> All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. So I'm just going to get rid of those extra houses now that we've gone over the limit again. We've meeting the full the full gas demands of this island. Unfortunately, I cannot get that one. It's just not within the radius of this, so that'll have to be left. But I think we'll probably set up on another glacier then as well to get the rest of the gas out of here. And all of this is in service of making sure that our home can kind of do well and start to prosper. We're doing okay. The numbers are coming up. They're fluctuating still a bit, but we're definitely repairing the foundation of the economy, I think. Um... And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm just really enjoying playing the game again. It's been a while, but I'm sorry that I've been kind of buried down in the trade route menus. It feels like I've been staring at that quite a lot. There was one last thing I was going to look at, and I just can't quite remember. Come on, Darren, what was it? Ah, it was Benty. Has she made any progress? Are only too happy to help with no, but there's no riots or anything. We've got loads of more ca care packages for her. Our new colleague. Do one final run and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, so I've written down a bunch of things for this episode. We need to fix like the oil situation in Cape Trelawney, brass, the different ores. I have to research a bunch of things to improve the brass production. So there's a lot of different things to do in terms of just that part of the economy. You're too kind. I know. I'm trying to help you. I'm really worried that you've got no ships for some reason. You've no ships and your airship hangar is stalled. Nothing's happening. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm absolutely loving playing the game again. It just feels feels really good to be back properly and regularly. All right. That's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.